Welcome to the updated Ron's Bubble Bucket. This thing really works sweet. I'm going to give you the uh, parameters here and show you the construction of this. How to use the bubble bucket. First off, the air tube, the air inlet tube, is actually a multi-purpose tube. It serves not only as an air inlet, but also as a level indicator, as you can see right here. Once you push the tube back in, it bubbles back through the tank. So now it's uh, emitting oxygen directly into the nutrient solution. No air stone needed, just raw air bubbling right into the tank. And of course, with some pumps, actually increase the bubbles. Hydrogen or some other type of grow rock seems to work best for holding the plants in place and creating a good rooting media. We'll show you how this thing works. Okay, we're going to pull it out. I'm going to use two hands. And there you have it. You're getting some pretty good roots. This basal plant's been in here for about Oh, three, four weeks, and it's been pruned a couple of times. Just, I expect this to get very large. But here you see the action of the bubbles. This is the pump turned down low. Let me increase the flow. Okay, here you are at low flow. To maximum flow. That is a lot of air bubbles pumping into that nutrient solution, completely surrounded in groups, and allowing maximum oxygen absorption. So here's one just constructed. What you have is the handle, of course, that helps hold the tube upright. You have a hose clamp. You really don't totally need this, but it helps keep it in place. It makes it look straight and good. But basically the air tube is, is the key function, the key operating function of the uh, equipment. You can, uh, put air through it, you can put nutrients through it, and you can also drain the nutrients just by turning the hose down. So it's a pretty interesting design setup, really, and very simple. Inside the bucket, you can see the, uh, the grommet right here. That is the only penetration in the bucket, the only modification. Very, very simple. And of course, on top of the top, we place a 10 inch cool pot, which is actually a bucket lid. Knit pot bucket lid. This will allow the roots to grow into the water as oxygen is pumped through it. Now, we're going to place a tomato plant in this bucket, but we're going to do one more thing. We're going to modify it so that it has four holes so that we can place these kind of stakes. We'll do that. These are uh, three foot long stakes, 36 inch long stakes. Here's a display garden at Echo Enterprises and here is the structure I told you about. 36 inch stakes, these are standard at any any gardening store or Home Depot, Lowe's, any of those places. And they're fairly cheap and they work great. Now we have the bucket with the modified lid. Four holes to place four stakes and you can tie, tie the plant to that. We're going to put a tomato plant in this unit here and see how that works. First we're going to add some grow nutrient. This is an amount we know will give us about 300 ppm to start. Then we're going to fill with water. That's mixing that nutrient solution nicely. We're going to fill it to about oh, four inches from the top, four or five inches. This will be enough to touch the bottom of the basket. So now we have looks like a little over 300 ppm, about 319, 320, something like that. And that should be nice. And gentle enough for new plants, so we can transplant an already rooted plant in there. So we'll go ahead and attach the bubbler tube, quarter inch tube from the air pump, and there we go. In this 
just gets plenty of plenty of oxygen for root growth. I've had tremendous luck with this setup. For, for the cost, you can't beat it. Let's face it. Keep it simple, baby. Okay, so there we go. Tomato plant planted and ready to grow. This is a new variety. It's packed with 50% more of the beneficial antioxidant lycopene. There you go. It's got to be good for you. Anyhow, we're going to give it a try. So, since this is a nursery plant we selected, all we have to do is just rinse off the dirt off the roots and then place in this hydrogen or grow rocks, lava, whatever you guys want to use. But uh, this thing should grow well. We'll check it in about a week and see how it's doing. So now we have two, two systems running off one air pump. And you have some sweet basil and a tomato plant. So maybe we can combine the two and make some sweet basil tomato cheese toast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about.